What is time? A deceptively simple question, yet it is the key to understanding relativity. It is also the reason my hair is going gray. <laughs> when we describe motion, we do so as a function of time. 10 meters per second, 100 miles per hour. But the mathematical description of velocity is moot. Unless we can define time. Is time universal? In other words, is there an audible tick-tock? throughout the galaxy. A master clock, so to speak, forging ahead like Mozart's metronome. The answer, my friends, is no. Time is not absolute. In fact, for us believing physicists, the distinction between the past, present, and future is but a stubborn illusion. <laughs> Not as stubborn as, as, as my mom. <laughs> I hope she's not tuned in right now. Uh, if so, I love you, I mom. Love you, mom. Love you, mom. This is Nick the Rat Radio. I'm Nick the Rat. We're coming to you live from the sewers of Brooklyn, New York. It is November, September 25th, 2019. And I'm a little confused with what day it is. It's been a weird past week for me. Uh... This is episode 197, right? 190. Uh, okay, so we're we're doing pretty good on the number. I got that right. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I I was on a, a road trip last week, and maybe I did get into places where I should not have been, and maybe I saw things that should not have existed. So I might have also broke something by accident while I was there. But to forget about all the things that I might have broken, let's open a beer and say, yay, we're still all alive, right? I think uh, we're all still alive, right? I'm not really too sure what's going on anymore. I guess I should just come clean. I snuck in through a toilet bowl at Area 51, okay? So so far I'm pretty I'm pretty clean because they keep their toilet bowls Mwah. respectable. That's all I can really say. Well, while inside, I had to go without my team because uh, red team was mostly a bunch of uh, let's just say they liked their Doritos and Mountain Dew and their Naruto running was not up to match with mine. Some of them got picked off, some of them exploded in front of my own eyes, and I saw them disintegrate. It was horrible. That one goes out to you, Chad. I hope you and Kyle have a fun time in the big old sea sewer. I don't know what the fuck. Um, uh, either way, while I was inside of Area 51, I might have went to a room that said time, time crystals on it. Uh, and when I, when I went inside, there was a suit, a big old red suit. And I thought there might have been a nice, nice young lady in there. So, you know, I kind of wiggled my way in. But in the way of the, my wiggling, I accidentally knocked the time crystal out of the back of the suit and shattered all over the floor. Maybe now I owe the government a lot of money, but uh, that's, ne that's neither here nor there. Because after, uh, after that thing broke, I've been having a weird time. A, a pretty, pretty weird time. Uh, after it broke, I kind of had a flash of... Of reality just changing in front of my eyes, and I was back in the sewer, and Zindu was there, and he ate my face. It was, it was brutal. But then there was another flash, and I was like in a, I was like in a bathroom. I don't know really what happened, but I just want to say uh, uh, thanks, thanks to the government for give give me a free ride home. I'm not too sure what day it is right now, though. Is it Sunday? Uh, Tuesday? It has to be Wednesday, because I'm doing the show. Um, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna talk about time tonight, and 
the glitches in, in the timeline, a little bit of errors that might happen. Maybe I can find what's going out, what's what's going on here. Uh, we'll be opening the phone lines. If you are a time traveler, please give me a call. It's time traveler night. Uh, but if you're not a time traveler, keep the lines open, okay? Uh, but we're, we'll be opening the phone lines a little bit later tonight. And hopefully we'll have a great a great show, just like we normally always do. And just to show you that it's a normally always good show, we're going to play some, some music. We got ESCP with Open Space. Let's go into Open Space and see if we can free our minds, everybody. Where are we? station it's not going to be a good station and i just don't know if nick uh, can hand if the public you run, airways are you running nick on the uh, no agenda stream absolutely <laughs> live baby yeah you kidding me even you listen to nick the rat Come on. i have listened right. anyway the I point the listen, point i listened the point of the segment was you, know, you typically would wind up by saying wow corporate media sucks podcasting's where it's at Welcome back. That was ESCP with Open Space. Let me just copy and paste that into the chat. If you want to get into the chat, you can go to nicktherat.com. Click on... Let's get social. I think. I don't know. 
And uh, everything you need to find is on nicktherat.com or nicktheratradio.com. Um, yeah, there's a Discord chat, which is... You can talk to me live on the show. Uh, yes, you can just jump in there. But only uh, if you're a, a time traveler. If you're not a time traveler, don't go in there. Uh, if you want to get onto the chat screen, which is right above my phone booth... Uh, what? Uh, go to hashtag sewer chat. It's an IRC client. Yes, IRC. Go use it. There's also a Twitch uh, chat stream that doesn't get recorded, but uh, I see it and I reply in there. Basically, I'm just telling you what I do now. This is not even, not even about time stuff, is it? <sighs> Let's read a. Let's read a gas blast. Let's let's. Usually, I would explain t uh, t uh, glitches and time as a, the, the beginning of the thing. Like, uh, oh, it's always good to talk about what you're talking about, so people know what you're talking about instead of instead of you just going on and on and on when they're like, "What is he? What is he referring to?" But I think we all kind of know what a, a glitch in time is, right? Or not. I don't know. Uh, let's go. Let's read this first gas blast. Uh, a few days ago, I was walking home after work and something unusual happened. While I was walking, I feel I felt like I was stepping into a field of music. I could hear the song perfectly. It was a Beatles song. It soon vanished completely. And it was not like I was hearing a song in my head. I mean, I was, but like it was crystal clear. Uh, that's a long gas blast. It's, okay, I'm going to leave out like the next five paragraphs. I'm just going to skip to the next one over here. This looks like the story picks back up over here. Uh, I started walking again and then, uh, then again, the same song, it was repeating itself. It was, it was, and then I kissed her by the Beatles and it was at the start of the song and then it, it faded again. Okay. Hold on, there's like another... He wrote a whole story. Okay, look. I'll, I'm, I'll gladly read things uh, on the show, but if, if you make it this long, I'm going to cut through it. Okay, this... This is baloney. This is... Okay, let's go back over to here. It's fucking huge. Uh, Well, when I got home, as soon as I entered the house, my wife turned the song on, and then I kissed her by the Beatles. Then she looked at me, and then she said, when I when I walked in, I guess she, he means him or her. I don't know. It could be whatever. Uh, she wasn't able to hear the music for a few seconds. And then the letter is ended as, uh, am I going to be okay? Well, are any of us ever really going to be okay? Like, we all know uh, that there are crystals that you could touch and rub they're from the planet earth they're from the earth and if you put them out in the, the sunlight for long enough i'm sure all this will get fixed all the problems that we're having now could could be repaired uh using uh, scientific vibrations from the earth in in crystal in crystal crystal form uh we're gonna do we have Zindu here where are we uh we have Zindu was we have Zindu everybody hey everybody this is Zindu reporting to you live from the sewers of uh fuck where I am I don't know uh but we're in the sewer uh, it's uh, it's fucking this is Zindu News on the Dark Sewer News Network. Uh, yeah. Wow, I'm fucking out of it. I don't know what happened. Uh, must have been all that that partying I did last week when, when Nick was gone all the way up at Area 51. Or was that just a dream? Or was that a, a glitch in time as well? Oh my god. I gotta, I gotta go to the doctor. Hopefully I got coverage to get my brain checked out. Anyway... What we're here for is the news, aren't we? Well, let's just uh, go straight to the Telegraph for the first story of the evening. 
U.S. military apologized for threat to blow up millennials if they stormed Area 51. Luckily, they didn't mention the furries and the Naruto runners, just the millennials, which probably takes up a large chunk of that. But Nick the Rat's still alive, which is great news, which I guess you already know because the show started and he was there. He had a great time, I think. He came back. He gave me a, he gave me a raise, actually. <laughs> yep, yep. I didn't think I was going to get one this time of the year, but he came back with a big old... He came back with, like, five Modelo beers for me. What a great guy. What a great guy. I feel I feel uh, really appreciated as an uh, employee of the Dark Sewer Network. Uh, so the military... This is actually the, the biggest part of this news story is that there's actually a uh, Defense Visual Information Distribution Service, DIVIDS is what it's called. It's... It's it's uh, what is it exactly? It's connecting media to the military twenty four seven. They said that they were going to blow the fuck out of all these kids. Now I, I don't know. I don't think Area fifty one's in Vatican City, so I don't think you could do that legally. Uh, they took the tweet down, then they posted up saying that none of the views posted by whoever posted it uh, are, are our own, and they probably killed the person because they don't mention their name or what happened to them. They just said, uh, "Don't worry about it." If you fuck with us, we'll kill you. That's that's usually what they do. I guess they're doing their job pretty well. Uh, hopefully, I'm doing my job decently, because uh, that's, that's why I'm here. Anyway, this is Zindu reporting to you live from the Dark Sewer News Network. <laughs> the best thing is I, I drank half the spirits that I gave to him. <laughs> Um, you do get coverage in the sewer, by the way. We we don't have uh, uh the scientists that work in the dark sewer network are are uh they're they're one hundred percent legit, and they follow all the rules of the corporate world. I think that's what they told me to say, or they would shock me in the nuts. Uh, Also, they use they tell us to use Zocdoc, which I I don't know if anybody out there has ever used a, a surface on the internet called Zocdoc, where you put all of your uh, insurance information in there, uh, and ba- basically it's your entire it's your entire medical history from when you start using it. To a point, I guess it's not like all of your medical data, but it it has all the doctors you go to and your medic Medicare information. I wonder what would happen if they got hacked. That'd be... Uh, we're, we're, we're talking about time and glitches tonight. Maybe, you know what? Let's look up, uh, let's look up both words and describe them properly by today's standards. Uh, was it thesaurus? Thesaurus.com. Okay, we got a uh, the definition of t- of time on thesaurus.com is uh, age, date, day, era, future, generation, hour, life, moment, month, occasion, pace, past point, present, season. T- oh wait. The dictionary uh, definition of time is the indefinite continued progress of existence and events in the past, present, and future regarding as a a whole. <laughs> they wrote somebody wrote a hole on the internet. Uh, number two is a, a point of time as measured in hours and minutes past midnight or noon. What the. And I guess the other word would be glitch, right? Uh, glitch. Let's look at glitch. Let's get the definition of glitch. A sudden, usual, temporary malfunction or irregularity of equipment. Oh, so if you uh, prematurely ejaculate, you could call it a glitch. An unexpected uh, setback in a plan is a glitch. Yeah, I guess uh, a preemie... A preemie, a uh, pre, a pre, pre jizzy. What is, I don't. A preemie is like when a baby's born too soon. That would be. It's kind of like a glitch too, I guess. 
Glitch is very sex related, or maybe I just have issues. Uh, what is glitch in the thesaurus? That's that's a good idea. Let's. Sometimes you can define words by what it what other words can match with it. Uh, see, glitch. Uh, it says semen, vagina. Uh, no, I'm uh, bug, defect, flaw, hitch, malfunction, mishap, problem, setback, snafu. All right, we're going way too deep, and we need to play some more music. I'm getting way off the point. We'll be right back with more um, time, time glitches. Um, elect electric senses with neon lights. Maybe you should take your knee off of the light. Uh, get, get your legs off there. Just and then now Nick DeBrat's all jacked up because I listened to his show. Oh yeah, now he's off the he's off the rails now. Oh, he's he's. he's a <laughs> I met the guy. He's a nice. He's like a normal. Person. I met him too. He's very. He smokes a lot of weed. Yeah, makes him a friend yeah. of mine. Yes, he does.
Hello, hello everybody, we're back with our electronic, uh, sense... With neon lights. All the music you hear is, could be found on soundcloud.com slash like slash Nick the Rat, and everything is, uh, CC by 3.0. I was supposed to play this first. As a matter of fact, the demonstration of this in such lectures is usually made by having a section of moving picture in which you take a number of phenomena and running the thing backwards and then see all the laughter. The laughter just means this ain't going to happen in the real world. But actually, that's a kind of a weak way to put something which is so obvious and deep as the difference between the past and the future. Because even without, hard, without an experiment, our very experiences inside are completely different for past and future. We remember the past, we don't remember the future. We have no, we only have a, we have a different kind of awareness about what might happen than we have of what most likely has happened. And the past and future look completely different psychologically and so forth. And uh, the questions of memory, of apparent freedom of will, in the sense that we feel that we can do something to affect the future, but none of us, or very few of us, believe that there's anything you can do to affect the past. And remorse and regret and hope and so forth are all words which distinguish perfectly obviously the past and the future. What the fuck did you just say? Um, we have a voicemail line. I'm going to open the phone line soon. I'm going to actually open them after I play this voicemail. Because I need a... Uh, I need people, I need time travel, tra travelers to call in. Oh my God, this loud. Hi, I'm Meanie Melissa. And I found this adorable little rat. He is so cute, I just wanted to give him a little bath, soap him up, rinse him off, comb his adorable little fur, and dry him off with a towel, and give him a hug. Ew, you stink, flush. Don't flush your pet rats down the toilet if they smell bad. They probably smell bad because you smell bad. It's not the rat's fault, it's yours. Uh, okay, let's open up the phone. Uh, wait, what is it? Yeah, we're going to open the phone lines now. 917-719-5923 is the uh, phone line. It is now wide open. We also have more voicemail. Let's check out another voicemail. Mm. Did you overhear? I a wish sandwich. Well, it's the kind of a sandwich that you're supposed to take two pieces of. Whoa. Mm. Did you overhear? I a wish sandwich. Well, it's the kind of a sandwich that you're supposed to take two pieces of bread and wish you had some meat. Do 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 cow cow ba da ba da da ba da. Okay. Uh, I'm lost. I'm way lost too. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> Wait, we got. Uh, sorry, I think I just lost time right there. <clears throat> also, lost time has to do with aliens, alien abductions. There's a lost time thing there. Uh, like it happens like this. You're you're outside. And then all of a sudden, you're just talking on the phone. And then you wake up, and then there, it's like it's a whole other day, and you have alien pieces inside of you. That could happen. I got you, Gene Witch. Ha ha. Uh... Lost time is a really, uh, it's, it's definitely tied to the alien abduction phenomena. And I, I know all about that because if I ever, uh, abduct any aliens, like when I first met Zindu, I did spike his drink. I didn't know it'd work on him, okay? I thought he, he wanted it. He said, put the GHB in my, in my soda. He said it. So... He had some lost time, but we had a good time. It was like Weekend at Bernie's. He got me into all the places. People screamed and ran out. 
and just walked in. Didn't even have to pay. A lot of free food. Uh, I have no idea where we are in the show right now. So we're going to play another voicemail. What? I don't... I'm lost right now, everybody. Uh, we have a voicemail right here. Hi. Nick Rat Radio, I presume. I am George Mackay, also known as Sulu. And, of course, I do actually view myself as Sulu. Oh, my. Anyway, leave a message after the beep and... Oh, wait. That's not... <laughs> that's not how we do these things here. I'm the one leaving a message. Remember, always tune in to Nick the Rat. And remember... It's not good enough for you do. It's not good enough for you. Say it with me, boys and girls. Oh, my. This is being brought to you by ASSEC. Let's put it in. Oh, my. Uh... Okay, I got some notes over here. Maybe I'll go over the, some notes. We'll play a song, and then where's my notes start? People who disappeared from cruise ships. No, that's that's a whole other episode there. Uh, have you ever had the feeling that you were... Yeah, I had to break into an advertisement. That's my notes say to do that, and there's a... Large man with a gun over there. Uh, no, it's it's fine. I'll do the ad. Okay, it's fine. I'll do the ad. Put the gun down. Okay. Okay. Um, have you ever got that? There's a phone call. I can't do the ad. I'm sorry. Uh, hello, caller. Oh yeah. Um, do you like horse lips? Horse lips? I love horse lips. Yes. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Who doesn't like horse lips? Well, I don't know. Are you a, a caller? This is this you, this line's only for time travelers. Are you a time traveler? Oh, yeah, yes, sir. I'm from 1930. So you're from the past, and you got how'd you how did you get here? I don't I don't believe you. Um, well. Do you know what kettle beans are? Oh, that's like uh, popcorn that has that sweet flavor to it. Yeah, yeah, kettle beans. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just in a kettle bean, and uh, then the microwave just sent me back in time. So, sent you? Oh, I caught him in a lie. Caught him in a lie. He said sent me back in time. He said he was from the '30s, and he's in the future. So it sent him forward through time. That guy was a liar. And he has a problem with horses. Lips. <laughs> what have you? Horse lips. What's up with that? <laughs> Somebody threw a banana on the course. Hey, do you mind if I ask you a question, Nick? Uh, sure thing. Can lost time ever be found? Can lost time ever be found? No, I don't think you could. I would say that you can't find lost time because it's gone already. You can't, can't unlose time. It's not like, uh, your keys, your your keys are there, and you could lose them, but then you could find them again. But the time always stays behind. It's there's it there's. I don't know what time it is. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I uh, maybe maybe there is. Okay, sometimes, some some uh, sometimes things that are are uh, uh, unknown or unknowable are are they seem magical to us like at one at one time there was no electricity was there but electricity was still there we just didn't know how to use it 
So maybe there's something that's like time there that we don't really know how to use yet, but one day we might be able to find lost time. But not today. Much too late right now. Much too late. Uh, we should... We should listen to another song by somebody new on set. These, the, most of this music's new. This one's from 10 days ago. I get these hot off the, the, pre, uh, off the, the internet press. This one's by Mo Moogie. Mogi. Uh, hey, I'm looking for a lyricist and that kind of beat Help me. Please, thank you. Uh, that was a uh, bogey. Hey, I'm looking for a, a stogey, blogey, smogey, brodogey. Uh, I mean, just co copy and paste that into the chat there in case somebody wanted to see that there. Bop and boop. Uh, <clears throat> it wasn't for our giant co corporate sponsors, such as the previous one that you missed. Uh, the, the only people I would have to thank are the people that uh, are you. Mostly the listeners. The listeners are the main uh, uh the main people that no the people that give me money are the main people i'm sorry i don't know uh, what i'm saying here yeah 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 it looks like if i look over here it looks like the the money people care and the no money people don't i'm just i'm joking uh everybody's lumped together you're all incredible but the money people are really cool uh let's give out their complete information here uh, well, this one is, looks like it's not a name, it's a company. So I guess if you're, if you're a corporation, you'd want to be known, right? So I don't know if you'd want to be known given me, so I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to say, uh, the initials LCI. Thank you. M-A. Thank you. I have to do, a. A, a giveaway thing, yes. Uh, more art. More art is coming, actually. I've been doing a series for Halloween. Should be good. Uh, thank you to KD. Last name Lang. Uh, thank you to... Pay, pay, no, fuck PayPal. PayPal, they're evil. I kind of want to switch off of them. They're doing stuff to resellers. That sucks. Uh, thank you, MY. MY, thank you. I'm going to probably work on the art this weekend. I, I already did part of it. Uh, 
No, I'm not going to give any spoilers yet. I think those are all the people that I have to thank for right now. But yes, Halloween arts are coming. I'm going to maybe try to sell them if I can do them quick enough. We'll see what happens this weekend. Uh, but, you know, time is what we're talking about. Wow, it's getting hot in the sewer. We should talk about uh, more Gas Blast. I think we have more Gas Blast that came in this week. You could email me at gasblast.nicktherat. No, it's Nick the nicktherat.com nick at nicktherat.com uh and then i'll uh, get gas blast uh is this new i don't even know hi nick i am from the future do not go to area 51 trust me that's probably i think that's old we have a new one over here uh have you ever oh god have you ever dabbed on your haters if not you should do so right now it'll make you feel better and we'll Talismanically? Talismanically protect you from bad vibes. Dab. No. No, sir, I will not dab on the haters or people that are villains or evil people. I will not dab on them. I will say a, a prayer for them. And in that prayer, I'll be fucking dabbing all over their face until they're dead. Uh, fuck the haters. No, I'm joking. Uh, whatever. It's cool. If you want to hate, hate. Please, go ahead. Just don't touch me. Uh, yeah. How about some Zindu? Hello, sewer citizens. Uh, hashtag sewer chat and the likes. Uh, this is Zindu reporting to you for the Dark Sewer News Network. There seems to be, um... No news this week, because this one comes from Business Insider. A deep fake pioneer says perfectly real manipulated videos are just six months away. I guess he knocked her up three months ago. Ha <laughs> uh, How Lee is his name, and making people that say stuff that they didn't say a reality is his game. Yeah, it took a while for me to say. Uh... I've seen some of these deep fakes, and some of them are really good. Some of them are really shite. Uh, you can tell... It works really well for videos from like the 90s when the screen's already pixelated and it's not very clear. But once the screen gets clear, it kind of gets a little shitty. But saying that, I have noticed that they have gotten better. There's pictures like my mom sends me videos of her and uh, Wait, I don't Wait. think it's really her anymore. Because my mom died a couple of years ago, so I don't know how I'm getting these uh, videos and messages from her. <laughs> what the f so it's got to be a deep fake, right? Well... If you can do that, you know, you can pretty much... It's kind of like... It's going to be like bringing people back to life digitally because you could slap somebody's face on somebody else's personality call it a day. Like, really, what, what are you people other than just fleshy meat over rotten bones and shit? Come on. Come on, man. Deep fakes equals eternal life, right? Am I wrong? Probably wrong. Anyway, this is Zindu telling you in six months if that sex tape comes out of me and R. Kelly, it's 100% real. What? Shallow real. This has been Zindu reporting to you for the Dark Sewer News Network. I'll be back later with some more real shallow news. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> That was, that was pretty deep, actually. I'm not seeing any six three zeros in here. Did, is my, is the phone line broken? I got two one twos, four four threes, eight one fives, five oh sevens. I'm international, in, international. Um, in, in the, in international, not inter, uh. Voicemail, voicemail. Let's look and play a voicemail. Hi, it's doo doo. I mean, uh, uh, wait, who am I again? Oh wait, that's right. It's Sir Richard Francis Claypool the first. Ah, you are there, uh, Nick Rat. Um, I just saw it was. What time is it? Voiceover. Uh, no, not you. The hell. 
Uh, I got a notification from pro rail. Who cares? What each one rep messages? Uh, five twelve. What's going on? Do they they let people at the uh, at Bellevue get the phone more. line? What's going on? I think we're going for a time more. Uh, it's like I oh could like have sworn it was five twenty two. Is that me? Hello. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Am I? Wait, the, did I have a point of calling you? Uh, who? A yes, caller. Uh, I actually did. Um, either I will call you before you play this voicemail, or I will. Oh God, I will call you afterwards. But I think I will call you on Wednesday and annoy you. What? I haven't been on Twitter for a while, and. I've decided that uh, I will do my best to come up with at least maybe a pseudo-intellectual uh, question. Sure. Uh, can Jen get – let me try this again. Can Jen – I hate having a plus palate. One, two. Can gentle can, – can gentle to what you'll be discussing uh, at that time and hopefully – Hopefully it'll be pertinent. All right, I'm gonna I'll be out of here. All right, love you, man. Peace. I'd also love ten genitals. I think uh, those are the best type of genitals because they're it must be nice and upkept. That's the call. Uh, we have. I'm not seeing any six three. We're doing a, we're doing some advertisements now because we have to make more money on the show, and I'm a greedy bastard. And Christmas is coming. And I gotta buy all the groceries at the store, so there's none left for the kids. <laughs> uh, wait, no. I mean, I have holes in my socks. We have. A, why can't I just play advertisements? I keep getting callers. Hello, caller. Yo, um, hello? Caller, I heard your radio. I heard your radio for a second there. Oh, you heard my radio? I Yo, heard I that. Question, I heard Is that a fucking rat hanging out your head or what, nigga? You gotta get that shit cut what? ASAP. No, I'm, are you a time traveler? I am a time traveler, oh, but okay. I ain't gonna lie to you. I need my rat back because I, I hit him with the kettle, with the kettle bean on accident, like doing a Bulgarian split squat. Yeah. You and like, he's in the sewer. Like, how do I get him out? I can help you, but is this like a future rat? Uh is it a is it a pet no, from the future, a, or you came here rat. by yourself? Like, he just, oh, I came here by myself, but like, he went off the beam, and like, he went in the sewer. Ah, uh, okay. Look, if. It, I don't really care about your friend. If it was a, if it was a female with like a space female with three breasts from Mars, I might be able to help you out. But oh, uh, but not I, the rat. No, I don't care about no modern day rodents in the sewers. Man, uh, I need some future, some yeah, future Martian rough, bro. Tang, bro. But what, but I got a question. What about the rat on your head? What's that guy from? Rat right on my head. I am. Wait, is that guy from the present, or is he from like the pr the like present future? You know what I'm saying? Holy shit! Have you ever thought about that? Are we in the present future right now? Honestly, that you know, I just took a bean, so I'm not really sure. Is that how you time travel? Yes. With beans? <laughs> yeah, like Holy kettle beans. Kettle beans making you time travel. I've heard of uh, I've heard of beans that like jump and stuff. So I didn't know there was like time jumping beans. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, plenty of those. Yeah. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna get back to you, bro, because I gotta find my fucking rat, bro. Yeah, go look for that, and it's probably just get some peanut butter, okay? My, I'm telling you, peanut butter is the way to go. Just throw that in the sewer. You, you'll find your, you'll find your your buddy soon. It's a uh, little. A little peanut butter. Uh, we, we got we got a lot more show coming up ahead right after we play some 
advertisements because once again, I have to I have to make money for the poor kids that I'm going to donate this to. Advertisements. can save you from the wrath of gods or to yours through the Dark Sewer Network today. Is the summer making you hot? Do you want to hit up the beach, but scared your pale skin might blind people? Do the thoughts of tanning beds and chemical sprays horrify you? Why not impress everyone who lays eyes on you? Now you can. The only all-natural sunblock skin darkening product on the market today. Dark Sewer Blood Tan Spray. For only $69.99, you can order three bottles of the freshest blood in our patented sewer spray bottles. Your new rosy skin will wow people. The smell of iron will attract all. What the fuck's we selling on this show? Uh, Steve D, Oddest Future.
feeling of deja vu. You're building a rat ship here. Finnegan's work. Um, and, and nobody has ever experienced an average day. You, you try to go back through your life and pick out an average day, you've never had one. There's never been a normal human being living an average day. Uh, these things are total fictions. And, and, then, and then, the, uh, then the British invented time which is a sinister device to make people work more than is good for a human being or a natural <laughs> now uh, as uh, De Selby says in his comments on uh, his commentary on Finnegan Finnegan was probably the most Irish philosopher who ever lived uh, because the Irish as a, as a whole culture are in rebellion against time uh, and in Cork, there are, there are four clocks on the side of the tower of the town hall facing the four quarters and invoking the four great spirits that all shamanic traditions are based on and which are very deep in Ireland with the four provinces and all. And each of these clocks has a different time on it whenever you uh, check them by walking around. Uh, people in Cork uh, call them the four liars. Welcome back to Nick the Rat Radio, everybody. This is... Yeah, there's a lot of feedback on that clip there. Uh, well, you know, he's doing it back in the 70s or whatever the fuck that was. Uh, we got more gas blast coming right out of my face, out of the sewer. It's, 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 it's great when you could actually go to your email and you get people sending you nice uh, emails to your email uh, uh, client because... Then you could read them and then find out what other people think. We have a guess. Whoa. Just got from a, a DA. Said, eat a dick, fuck boy. Okay. I only realized what I read after I read it. Who? Just take pictures, that's all we ask. Uh, while I'm eating the dick? Ugh. Be all bloody. Can't, can't eat a dick. You can suck one, but you can't eat it. Uh. Actually, yes, you can. <laughs> and in fact, it's healthy for you. It's called spotted dick, and it's an actual dish. You're talking about... Oh well, yeah, but no, I was talking about fish as well. I have, I would, um, uh, we got a phone I'm call. I'm trying to keep it safe. We have a phone call. Hello, hello, phone caller. Are you from the future? Hey, Nick. No, but I have a question. You're. What's your question? It's about time traveling. All right. Sewer uh, rats and turtles. They're supposedly teenagers. And they should be like 50 years old. Oh, we're just going to hang up on that person right there. That makes no goddamn sense. And we're only taking phone calls from time travelers right now. Look, the Simpsons, Maggie's been a baby 
for 12 years now. How do you think she feels, huh? She's, she's old enough to smoke fucking meth right now, and she's still crawling around on her fucking onesie. Question she's, that. What? A 22-year-old girl in a onesie? What? 22-year-old? No. Maggie is is a... She's stuck in a body of a... Like a baby, and then the baby's body stuck in a onesie. Yeah. yeah. I've heard about this. It's real. Who makes that sucking noise for Maggie? My yeah. sister. It's, it's your sister. Sure, sure. Ah. Okay, well, we, got, we got more gas blast to read. I got more gas blast over here. Here it goes a really, uh, this one looks like it's kind of long, but not too long. Uh, hi, hi, Nick. The similar thing happened to me as well recently. I was getting on the subway and I looked up in the sky and saw a pigeon. The pigeon was just hovering there, but like not hovering, completely frozen in the air. I thought it might have so. Uh, it might it might be some new gorilla graffiti stuff. I heard Banksy was coming to New York City again. But then I got bumped by an old lady who called me a fat cunt. Uh, but but when I looked uh, at the pigeon, the, the pigeon was gone, and there was a feather floating uh, to the floor in its place. Well, I, I told you I didn't break the crystal. The time crystal, it wasn't me. I don't know what's happening anymore since... The, it will... It will it wasn't me. It was Zindu. Zindu did it. Oh, let's listen to Zindu. Zindu, save me. Hello, everybody. This is Zindu coming to you live from the Dark Sewer News Network. I would just like to point out that, uh, we. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, crap. Sewer's falling apart. Ah. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a quick science section. We're going to call it uh, Filthy Science because it's going to be fast and dirty. Uh, let's just go over this really quick. Number one, we got a lost continent has been found under Europe. Uh, I don't know. I tried to read this one, but I'm just going to keep it fast and dirty. It, sh it didn't really make any sense to me. It seemed like the the moving of the continents, was that called? Uh, Geo-relocation or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh... It caused maybe the Mediterranean Sea to cover up other pieces of the world or come out from under pieces. I don't know. It was, just, it was something about, like, oh, the lost city. It's But it's, like, right there. I don't... Okay, that's a failed piece of news. But if you want to look for it, look, look, just do a Google search for lost continent that's been found under Europe. And if you figure it out, give me a call. Maybe you could take my job. Uh... See, what else do we have? We have Facebook. It's a brain startup company. Eh. We got a lady that had a face transplant. It's it's rejecting it again. She needs a new face. Ah. Uh, scientists, they think that uh, DNA is held together by water, and that when it wants to read or write, it, it opens up and lets some of the water in and causes it to do stuff. Uh, we have yep. the FDA water expands there. blood pressure drug recall. You might want to Google that if you're on blood pressure pills or anything, because you might die. I just want to try to save your life. And then finally... The biggest news about science all week, Coca-Cola has a new flavor. It's very hard to find, but it's apple flavor, everybody. Go out and get your apple-flavored Coca-Cola if you could find it. Oh. That's a, that was a little advertisement for you. Uh, this has been a great news segment. I hope you learned a lot, especially without apple Coca-Cola. Oh, my God. How else can I get this sweet, sugary garbage into my veins and make me think that it's healthy or something. I don't know. Uh, Sue will be calling it fucking brain soda for some because the fuzzy bubbles makes you smart. Anyway, this show is probably making you stupider, so I should better get out of here. I'll be back a little bit later. This is Zindu reporting to you for the Dark Sewer News Network. <laughs> Thank you, Zindu, for all the that news. I don't even... Uh, that was a lot of news in one segment. Uh, 
you you can never have something simu simultaneously simu uh things that happen at the same time do happen but they're never in the same place at the same time yeah that's what I wanted to say you can't have you can't do that it doesn't it's just a, it don't it don't it's not how that's not how it does it uh I wonder if this is either Alvin Simon or Theodore calling me to talk about oral sex. Hi, are you a time traveler? Um, no, but I just... Well, we can't talk to people that aren't time travelers. It's just kind of how it works sometimes. Uh, this episode was brought to you by Raycon earphones. You might think that I am wearing big fuzzy ears on my head, but they're just technology that I'm selling to people for money. Ah, fuck it. Raycons suck, man. I, I lost the pair up my butt because I wanted to see if I could feel the vibrations deep inside of me. There's actually a lawsuit currently in play for this right now. We can make it a, an ass action lawsuit if there's other people out there that have suffered the same fate as me by sticking their Raycon earphones up their butt to see if they can feel the vibrations internally. Ah! Uh, we still have a little bit more show to go. Prob probably more than just a little. We're just, we're barely scratching the surface, if you know what I'm trying to say. Do we listen to this? Finnegan's work. Um, <laughs> we listened to that. Let's get that out of there. But we didn't listen to a voicemail. We should listen to a voicemail because it's been a while. Croc crocodile. Uh nine one seven seven nine five nine two Hmm. Did you overhear of a ricochet biscuit? Well it's the kind of a biscuit you're supposed to bounce off the wall back in your mouth. If it don't bounce back, <coughs> you go hungry. Bodo rodo. Okay. Okay, uh, 917-719-5923. Hello, Nick. Is, uh, you're, did you fuck up the time continuum, or do I have to beat my wife? Because I came home from work, and I was supposed to have beers in the no. fridge. What? And she said that, hey, what are you doing, lady? Did you take my beers? Those are my beers now. <laughs> the I thought you were, I thought you said that the beers... Disappeared in a time loop. You took him. <laughs> time continuum. You fucked up time. Where did you drink the beers? Woman, stop laughing. I'll beat you. <laughs> oh, that's... I gotta go, Nick the Rat. This bitch needs a beating. Whoa. <laughs> she got me pinned down, though. Call the cops. Bye. J <clears throat> Janky footpath walking the street at night.
You're building a rat ship here. Hey, motherfucker. Deja vu. Hey, motherfucker. Janky footpath uh, walking the streets at night. You don't want to get, you don't want to be on a janky footpath walking the street at night. Uh, we have a, a, a lot to talk about tonight. We do. Uh, uh, let me just go through my list over here. There's a tropical storm, Karen. Uh, all right, here, here's something. The so, if you break if you break time, I don't know if it's true, but I've been seeing them a lot lately because I might have had a thing to do with maybe possibly breaking a, a time crystal. It was. I thought it was. I thought I was at IKEA. I thought there was tons of these things. It's like uh, there for the taking. So I didn't think it would be such a bad idea that it broke, but it it might have broke. Uh, but I've been seeing a lot of shadow people lately, and maybe they're like temporal cops. Do you think? Do you think shadow people are maybe possibly to tem temporal pol police or? Loss, loss, con what are they called? Convention, loss, loss, uh, intervention, loss prevention. Maybe shadow people are loss prevention time cops. I don't know. Zazin voicemail. Nick the rat, where are you at? Thunder cat, beaten hatched. What are you hatching? What kind of plan? Oh, Nick the Rat, what are you up to? I'm having a a time crisis right now. That was lovely, though. I almost want to hear that again. That was really just... It, hold on, I gotta hear that again. Nick the Rat, where are you at? Thunder cat, beaten hat. What are you hatching? What kind of plan? Oh, Nick the Rat, what are you up to? All eight of my nipples are erect right now. Uh, wow. Time Traveler Hotline, how are you? Holy crap. Is this Nick the Rat? Nick, Nick the Rat. This is the Nick the Rat time traveling, uh, sir. Oh man, oh man. Um, okay. Uh, so I'm I'm time traveling right now. Uh, I have been for a while. Um, I don't really know where I am. You know, uh, temp temporarily. 
I don't really know when I am. No, that's fine. Um, that's but I fine. I do have a phone. Okay. Uh, do you? Okay, so I'm talking to you. Can you hear me now? Well, right now, no, I don't hear anything right now. Shit. Okay. Um, I hear you right probably... now. I hear you right now. I don't now? hear anything. Okay, hear I hear now? you now, though. But oh, now, fuck. now I don't hear okay. you. Okay. Now I hear you. Now, okay. now okay. I don't hear now you. you. I hear you. I hear you. Um, yeah, there you are. Now cool. you're gone. You're gone now. Okay. So no, we but, have phones at this time. Well, where are you from? Are you from the past or the future? Well, I'm, well, I'm from the present, you know. You're I, I in mean, the, you're in the, pr you're talking to me. I'm, uh, I'm now. Well, well, I'm, I'm now, where I'm from is my now. And, you know, I don't, when is, when is now? Okay, I've got this phone. It's, uh. When is now? Is an iPhone? But. My now is still not your now because it takes a while for me to make the signal to get to you. Uh, Where does now start for each individual? Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm sure because like right now there's a bunch of nows happening for people because when I say this, it's going through the phone and then it's going through the air and then it's coming out of the phone into your ear. So right now, Man. I'm not talking to you, but I am talking to you like right now for me, for me, but for you. Yeah, it's not well, now. And, you know, the sewer. You got you got the sewer delay. I do have a I have a pretty bad sewer delay. Man. I've been eating more fiber though, so. Okay. Yeah. No. Well, that's not bad. I uh, I do I do those yogurts with the probiotics. Um, those are those are super hip. In, yogurts uh, are in my present. I, people been doing like yogurts with goats and shit. I don't understand it. It's like I like I like a uh, Greek like, yogurt. I don't like uh, the goat goat one. I it's, mean, I'm I'm not really racist about my like I'm I'm okay with any nationality for my yogurts. But uh, you know, as long as it's got the you know professional uh, biotics, amateurs just you know they don't get the job done. You pay the same price. So it's, it's really just a racket. I've been getting. Uh, people's feces put put into my large intestine uh uh well uh, that uh i mean hey yeah no your show no judgment you know it's i got that uh it's called a, a fetish of a okay. of a, of a yeah. it's well it's hey good for you. it's good uh, for your it's good for Oh, the phone call just got cut off right there. I can't believe it just what just happened right there. That's uh, it must have been a time temporal displacement. Woo! Because there's a lot to there's a lot more to say to that call right there. Sadly, we got disconnected though. That sucks. Uh, caller, if you could, if you could call back, that that would that might work. Uh, maybe. Uh, Music, more music. Time by Sun Sunled. Sunled time. The ticking of the clock was the most important thing in his life.
ticking of the clock was the most important thing in his life. You're all right. In the philosophy of time, there are three main positions. Presentism, according to which only present objects exist. Uh, the growing block view, according to which present objects and past objects exist. Uh, and eternalism, according to which past objects, present objects and future objects exist. Now these are the three main positions that get adopted in the philosophy of time. And um, when it comes to choosing from these different theories, one of the main things we need to think about is how we're going to account for temporal passage, that is the passing of time. According to the presentist, the passing of time, or temporal passage, uh, is the literal coming to be of a whole new state of affairs. Only present objects exist, so we create some new things and we destroy the old things. According to the growing block theory, on the other hand, although we do create these new things, we get these new present objects coming in, uh, they're all, objects also then go on to reside in the past, so past objects still exist. According to the eternalist, all of these objects, past, present and future, simply exist, and we have to try and get a change from that picture. I think uh I think things exist till they don't. I don't know where that I don't know where that puts me in the uh field of th uh stuff. But sometimes things exist and then they don't and maybe they're not even real at all. Because apparently you could do anything. I'm currently in a sewer telephone box on a rail cart. Around the world. Almost instantaneously broadcasted. It's crazy what you could do today. Especially after you break a time crystal. Well, now I know why people say that I sound a little tired. It's because I have drank a lot. Let's read a gas blast. Let's wake up, everybody. Everybody get back up on your toes. We still have a while to go with this time glitches. Uh, Nick, this is freaking me out. I was just uh, taking a shit reading the Sunday newspaper, the newspaper's funnies, while sipping on some coffee. When I got up, it was dark out, and I'm listening to your show live, but you only go on Wednesday nights. What the fuck did you do, you piece of... Oh, boy. I usually read everything in a gas blast, but I'm going to leave that last two paragraphs off because it's just filthy, filthy words. It, it was probably me, okay? I'm sorry, okay? Look. What are you going to do? Other than if you're feeling sad and blue and you wish you had... Uh, if you wish you could feel like you could afford a waterbed, but if you can't afford the waterbed, but you want to live like you could, waterbeds are not cheap. But the dark sewer scientists have been working on waterbed pillows. Uh, yes, uh, the you could live the experience of having your own personal waterbed for a sixth of 0.56 of the price. These pillows come to you at $69.99 a piece. They're made with the finest nat natural synthetics. 
the the best natural synthetics you could find on planet Earth that will make any Greta happy. This is uh, 100% made in the sewer of Brooklyn. It's uh, a small batch, so get them today while you still can. These, these pillows are filled with water and simulate the feeling that you your, yourself had a waterbed. Even though you can't really afford one, nor do you want one. What water bed pillow water pillows for your water pillows for your bed. Uh, buy them today at Nick uh, 917-719-5923 for more inquiries into that. Hot new item. I've tried it out. I've I personally love it. It really makes me feel like a pimp. I put a pink fuzzy like shag carpeting sheet on the pillow. I also have one that is a body pillow water bed. It's a water body pillow bed. It's great stuff. And I put my little waifu sheets on that one. R much jiggle, much love. Keeps it warm too. It's it's good. It's a good uh, all time uh, solution. Never never leaks. I've poked at it a lot. Trust. Me. Uh, uh, that's not what I mean. Um, rub made it hot. Uh, it's very durable. Very durable material. Naturally synthetic. Uh, good stuff. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good, everybody. We're back to Nick the Rat Radio. We're talking to you about uh, time glitches, glitches in time, how you could stop to, and how you could Zindu. Greetings, Earthlings. <laughs> I'm going to eat your brains. I'm going to burn your houses and take your pets from you. What? Wait, uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to read you some news. My name is Zindu, and this is the Dark Sewer news network i'm your favorite alien from oktar taking over the planet baby yep that's what i'm doing uh let's let's check out some important news i'm starting to think that nick should maybe move the studio from brooklyn over to germany because a german court ruled hangovers are an illness yay i can finally call out sick and uh say that i was just fucking hammered the other night what? right wait wait no that's what it is oh my god okay I'm sorry. Yeah, it's an illness. Not because you can get out of work. I thought Germany was being cool. It's because there was a firm that claimed to have made an anti-hangover drink. I wonder what that is. I'm down for some. I could use an anti-hangover drink. Uh, but the firm was taken to court because the, the food products, including drinks, cannot be marketed as being able to prevent or treat an illness. So, the court said that having a hangover is an illness. By an illness, one should understand that even a smaller temporary disruption to the normal state or normal activity of the body is an illness. So, if you sell some other type of food to prevent an illness, you're not allowed to do that in Germany because courts rule that hangovers are an illness. And, it, and I still think you have to go to work, though, guys. Sorry, Germans. Maybe we should keep this sewer down in Brooklyn. There's, there's better pizza here anyway, but... Uh, yeah, okay, but this has been Zindu reporting to you live from the sewers of Brooklyn, New York. I hope you're having a great evening, everybody, and I'm going to rip your heads off and destroy your houses. <laughs> uh, well, I'll be back later. Whoa. Um, the boy, oh boy, that was really informative news there. Zindu, thank you so much for your contributions to the show. Let's go through our... Let's see if we have any new gas blast or or voicemails or, or donations or anything. Oh, we got a gas blast here. Let's... Uh, my cat found some lost time behind my desk. She ate it before I could stop her. Then I couldn't find her for two days. Some bad puss you got there. Um, well, you know, if, if the cat gets away, you'll find it the very next day. You just don't have to feed it, I guess. And then it won't come back the next one. 
We got voice voicemails, everybody. We do have voicemails. Very important to the show, the ecosystem for congealing of minds. Hi, Nick. I uh, just wanted to tell you about stuff like how I've been doing. And, uh... Daddy, I my what? God damn it, kid. What did I tell you? I'm going to have to get my belt. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to whip your ass. Whoa. I'm going to have to. Come here. Come here. I'm going to have to whip your ass. I'm going to have to whip oh your ass. Okay, stop. What is. <laughs> um. If the FBI. Uh, I don't know any of the numbers of the. Call. The. Shut the shut the studio down. We're gonna have to leave after this. We're gonna have to maybe we could time travel back to the future. Cut the thing and oh, hi, hi everybody. Let's we're gonna we're gonna talk about stuff that's important. Uh, philosophy is important about for time and. But the thing is, it feels like philosophy has hit a wall. Like, there's not really too much more to think about. Like, we figured out that we're thinking creatures. What else could you really... How far could you push the boundary? I guess I guess we do push the boundary, but it seems like we might have hit a wall in, in philosophy. And... The, uh, sleep? Sleep is like a glitch in time. When you go to sleep, you don't know when, when you wake up, where did the time go when you're sleeping? And what do we need it for? It seems like we have to lose time sometimes to be charged up and ready to go for the next day, the new day, the day of tomorrow. Uh, we have an old oh, gas. Well, my phone just shook. We have a gas blast. Rat, remember that money you lent me? Well, I paid it back to you on Friday. If you don't see it, there might have been a time glitch in PayPal. Well, thanks for your help, and I hope you get paid soon. Love, Mom. Thank, thank, thank you, Mom. I will... I have to go... To, I have to call PayPal up. Uh, do we have more music? We do. We have more tunes for you. This one is a great one. Uh, the holidays are coming, everybody. Halloween is coming. I just want to say that uh, uh, I think fall is here officially. Not sure. But uh, I love I love the Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, even, you know, uh, Indian killing time as well. It's kind of fun. Uh, autumn, I guess the Indian... Uh, I call it hanging out with friends and family and eat apple pie time. We really screwed those Indians over on America, didn't we? Jeez. You know, let's kill some turkeys to celebrate. I, I'm talking more about Halloween, though. And, you know, Halloween is... I love Halloween. It's the time when you could pay, pay debts to the dead. And there's been actually a lot of dead people lately. It's kind of scary. There is... This is a guy from Deep Space Nine. Aaron Eisberg. Nog. Rest your soul, Nog. Rick Ocasek passed away. And Sid Haig. There's been even more. There's somebody, did you know the Asian lady from uh, uh, Flip This House or something? Uh, it's like something. Oh my God, we got a phone call coming in. She died too, sadly. She was awesome. Uh, hello, caller. Talking about time travel tonight, huh? Yeah, we're we're talking about time travel, and this line's only open for time travelers. Well, I believe at some point that I time travel. Are you from the past or the future? I'm currently sitting in the present, but sometimes when I go to sleep, I travel to the future. Oh, you are from the present, but you have traveled to and fro the future. I do believe I have. How is the future? Uh, I haven't been able to check in recently, but it seems to be okay. I seem to be on the proper path. 
Okay, well, look, I don't care if you don't know about the present future, but how was the past future? Like, the when you went there and then you saw the future and you came back, meaning that that current future that you saw was in the past for right now. It was good. It was only a brief moment in time. It was kind of like looking through looking through the looking glass. And you're able to, to see a brief moment in time. And without knowing that you'd be there, you were there. And then when the time shows up, you were there. Well, what if like the Daily News showed up instead of the Times? Would you be upset? Uh, I'm, no, I'm no news reporter. I wouldn't make it. What What do you do? Uh, I go out and I cause problems for everybody. That's just my business. <laughs> you're, you're a problem-causing time traveler? Well, I got to keep everybody on their toes. I can't let, uh, I can't let people just have uh, happy-go-lucky days. Yeah, keep their keep surprises up on them. Is is your name Rumple Skiltskins? Was that what is that what they call called him? I know nothing about a sewing machine. That was fucking Rumple Stiltskin. I'm telling you, I. Okay, look, don't say his name. Don't say Rumple Stiltskins for like uh, three times in the mirror, naked backwards. You'll get pegged. I'm telling you, it's, it's, I thought I knew that voice. I fucking knew that I knew that fucking voice. Holy shit. Ooh. All right. I think I'm good. I don't feel anything. Okay. We're going to listen to this song over here <coughs> by <coughs> Yeah. Joe Kim, Karad, Holiday Blues. I told you one time, I'll tell you 16 times. 
Stop blasting that monkey bullshit up from the sewer. You trampling my HS signal down in Mexico. I can't get my slave labor coats made. I can't get my signal down there because you trampling my motherfucking signal. I can hear that shit coming up through my... What the hell? What's going on? Oh. 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 Hi. 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 There's dead air. Dead air. Hello. It looks like there's not dead air. I gotta turn my radio. Okay. Look. Look here, people. This is the thing. Meditation is key. You really have to meditate. Now, when people say it's hard to meditate, I understand it is hard, but I found out the way to do it. I found out how to meditate. This is what you do. Just focus on your breathing. You have, must focus on your breathing. That's all you have to do. If you just focus on your breathing, you'll realize that every breath you take could be your last. And God damn it, it's so scary that you're going to stop thinking about everything else except that breath you're taking. And then when you're feeling the air go into you, you know it's re-energizing your blood cells. And then you can really focus in on all the parts of your body. I think you could use meditation to time travel. And I'm going to prove it to you tonight. Are you ready? Okay. Just grab anything that's close to you and stick it in your mouth really quick. Hold on. And now think about a couple of numbers. These numbers could be your social security, your credit card, your home address. I want you to write those down and send them into nick at nick, nicktherat.com. And after you do that, you'll be able to breathe again and you'll feel the oxygen going, filling your lungs. And then you'll feel your lung, you'll feel your, the air in your face and it'll feel cool. You'll feel a cool air inside of you. And then you're just going to, you're going to feel the power and you'll be able to move it around your body. It's going to be all over the place. And then you'll realize what life really is. It's just hoping that you can, like, breathe while you're sleeping and not die. That's basically what life has become for me. Like, just hoping that I don't die while I'm sleeping. Okay. Uh. Hi, everybody. We're back to Nick the Rat Radio. I don't know what the fuck that was, but we are having a fun time down in the sewers. We're, uh, it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning in the East Coast time as I bang my pop filter against my microphone. But that's what you do on a Wednesday night when you're really intoxicated. And talking about time. You know what I find a waste of time is, but, uh, but when you listen to a podcast, this is like a, a bit. Uh, when you when you listen to podcast and basically it's all just them talking about about their their podcast name. I understand you have to you have to do it for like at least a minute. I try to keep it under like five seconds. I just try to say, hey, by the way, if you didn't know what you were listening to, this is. Just come on, really. Just think about your social security number, your uh, credit card number, your date of birth. Write all this down. Just write it down on a piece of paper. Actually, you know what? Just open up your email program 
And in the two field, write Nick at NickTheRat. Oh, uh, hold on. Hello, caller. You're on the radio, live in front of millions of people, and we're watching you. Cool. Hello from Spearfish. Holy shit. You are... Yeah. Okay, I somebody told me earlier that you were going to call in. You are the world-famous time traveler, aren't you? It, yeah, I, accidental time traveler, really, but it still counts. I fucking heard the story, man. You you were really working in a pickle factory in 1920, and then That's you right. bought... Did you you bought a spell from an old uh, genie on the corner? Yes, yes. How, uh, how much did you spend on that spell, by the way? It was three hundred and eighty-two jars of pickles. Holy! Fuck, it was that's... worth it. Yeah. Are you enjoying now compared to the pickle factory? Uh, yeah, actually, I am. Uh, like, I started getting into, like, watching TV shows and stuff. Uh, that's that's pretty wild. What does a 1920s pickle worker watch in the year 2019? Well, pretty much, we, 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 we'd go to, like, a, like, live theater shows every now and again. Really? Yeah. So wait, is yeah, it I mean, true? Sometimes they had Hold the on one second. Pictures. Hold on one second. I, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I know you're the world famous uh, pickle worker traveler from 1920 that got here via a witch on the corner for 320 jars of pickles. But I heard she yeah. gave you a magical bean. Is this true? Uh huh. And I well, heard. Yeah. I heard you had to. Okay, uh, this this is probably just a rumor. It's probably just uh -huh. a rumor, but did you really have to shove it uh, three arm lengths up up your rectum to to get here? I didn't have to, but I did. That's the legend. Oh, my God. This is so amazing. I really thought that that was just a lie. and But I because I know that it only takes about one arm's length up your ass with the bean to go to the future. Yeah, that's right. So the the legend is true. It's it, you did all three. Wait, yes, I did. Did you use different people, or did you put it on a stick that was really long? Yeah, I used a pickle. I had lots of pickles. That is fucking brilliant! Holy shit! You, you, you still with me? I never thought about oh, that I, before. I never fucking thought oh, about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. You can use pickles to shove lots of things up your butt if you want to. Wait, do you still do you have nineteen twenties pickles in your ass still? No, not in my ass. I mean, I, I, I still got to poop pretty much on the daily, you know. So oh, you've been here for yeah, a while. Those, those pickles would be bad by now, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, not really. I mean, pickles keep really, really well. They do. They do. Do pickles yeah. have seeds? In fact, some there... of them even get better with age. How do you plant pickles? Oh, it's really simple. You, you get these little uh, little baby mason jars. You stick them on the ground, and then you uh, you know you water them, and you know you talk to your plants and everything. And then after about three or four hours or so, uh, the brand new jar of pickles grows out of the ground. Okay, so just grab a pickle, put it in a jar, put water, put it underground, more pickles, profit. Yeah. It's, it's really just a cycle of pickles. I really should have, like, a, a part of this podcast that I could sell and keep it uh -huh. private from people. Because right now you're giving away, you're giving away secrets over here. This is, this is worth millions. Uh, you know, that, those are the secrets we're going to get out anyway, you know. This is incredible. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, I got I got at least three more questions here. Okay. Okay. Well, number one. When you got here, did you try any fast food? I did, yes. I, I tried the, uh, the, uh, you know, the one with the, uh, you know, creepy guy with the crown. 
creepy uh, underground. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, it was a, y- yes, yeah, it was, it was a, it was okay. It was okay. Okay. Uh, number two. Yeah. Have you tried any of the beers? Uh, yes, yes, I've tried a lot of the beers. Uh, I, 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 I'm least impressed with the the PBR because uh, I don't I don't remember them ever win, winning that blue ribbon. You know, so I, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, you know, I, I, I like the local brews. They're they're pretty tasty. And my final question: Are You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. That was that was my final question. All right. Well, have a good night there. Uh, it was great talking to you. I hope you have a great time in the in the present day. You pickle fucking time traveler. That shit's incredible. Like, I would have never thought that was possible, but apparently it is. Uh, do we have more voicemail? I think we have some more voicemail over here. Nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. Voice. 中国领事馆最后提醒，您有一封重要通知，了解详情，请按八。了解详情，请按八。Okay, okay. I've been getting a lot of those lately. Uh, I think we're no, we're not. We're the show's not over. We st- we're still talking about uh, time glitches and things that could happen in there. I do have. Okay, let me go over my notes really quick. Uh, we all know that to fix the time continuum, you could use yoga, crystals, and lemon. Hello, whoa, what the hell was that? Hello? Yeah, hello. <clears throat> are you, a, are you a time traveler? Hello? Hello? Wait, oh my god. Yeah, well, Hello? Yeah. Are we at, uh, is it 2019? Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Are you, yeah, so, uh, are you a time so traveler? I'm a time, hell yeah, I'm a time traveler, nigga. But, uh, uh, let me just tell you. Yeah. I've been in the sewer too long. You've been in the sewer too long? It's never long enough. But where, where were you before the sewer? Are you from the future or the past? All right, so this is going to sound crazy, but I'm from the future present. The future present? Yeah. How fa- You ever heard of that shit? How far in the present future are you? Um, I moonwalked I'm, like I'm pretty sure this is 10 fun, miles dude. north, and I think I was uh, in like Afghanistan or some shit like that. I don't know. I'm, Here we go. I'm calling. I'm calling bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. That was not a time traveler. That person got too deep into the beans. Oh, what about this one over here? Uh, hello, caller. Caller, can you turn your radio down? Jesus. Christ. Okay. Look, we can't. If you're gonna, if you're gonna lie or have your radio on too loud. That was me. That was. Uh. What the hell? Are you in my head? Where are you? It wasn't me. Get ready. Oh, we're all in your head. What the fuck is going on? I'm tripping right now. I don't I'm not even on the phone and I hear somebody talking. Uh it happened earlier, but we We got stuff for you, people out there of the I got a gas blast for you. This one just came in. I saw the phone line up. Thank God. <sighs> okay, let's read it. Uh, hi, Nick. This is the most scary thing that has ever happened to me. Okay. Sure. I believe you. Uh, I was just in the bathroom and I was taking a piss. I looked over in the mirror and my reflection was making a grotesque face at me. And then started to piss on his own foot. It was only for a fraction of a second, but when I looked down at my feet, they were soaking wet. M- mind you, I have perfect piss aim. I actually won an award in junior high school for my urine accuracy. Oh, yeah, urine accuracy. That's like, 
10th grade shit. I, I figured it out, man. I figured it out. You have good urine accuracy, too? Yeah. yeah urine accuracy. I learned accuracy. it when I was about, like, 12 or something. Do you want to... Do you want to hear a song and maybe we can have a piss contest? Let's do it. All right, let's, let's fucking go. let's fucking listen to a song and have a piss contest. We got La Medicina, La Medicina, by Archer Hill. Here we go, everybody. Whip your pissers out and take it. Oh shit, man! I, I was supposed to be asleep like an hour ago. I have to get up super stupid early tomorrow. Well, you should maybe go to go to sleep. Go yeah. to sleep. I'll be okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. Do it. You know, if you could, if you if you have perfect piss accuracy, when you nail the pee against the the, to- the toilet seat, it'll all night. It'll all vibrate night. all night. Yeah. All night. All night. And then you could you could travel back into the past because of the frequency of the vibration from the pisser will shake your atoms. Well, see, that's that's why the show uh, matters because we're we're talking about time travel by pissing into a toilet. Now I want you to go back into the past and write down your credit card numbers, your address, your home telephone number, your last name, your first pet's name, your favorite sports team. Now I just my want you first, to... My first pet's name? First pet's name, too. My, Thank my you. first pet's name was um, George. Or, Mine uh, was... A- A.K.A. Jorge. I called him Jorge. You called He's your a pet big, Jorge? giant, fatty, fucking orange cat. I called him Jorge. <laughs> A.K.A. George. George. George the big old pussy Jorge. Well, George is Jorge. Mm-hmm. It all makes sense now. Big, fat motherfucker. It, his balls are bigger than mine, dude. I'm not kidding. Did you, did you put your, did you put them, did you put your balls on Jorge's balls? <laughs> no, this, this cat had, this cat had like giant fucking balls, like, like two fucking baseballs for nuts, right? It wasn't, it wasn't fixed. I don't know if you can feel me or hear me, but I'm talking. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Oh yeah, we hear you. Okay, yeah, giant fucking balls on this cat, dude. He was an orange uh, cat. I uh, loved him, man. He's great. Did you? Uh, did he you, was named. Did you measure George, his balls? AKA Jorge. No, no, of course not. Like, why do you? You could have sent him into the world records of animal testicles. Oh, you might be right. Yeah, I never even thought about that. Giant fucking like, balls. From a while back. Yeah, yeah, I miss, I miss so Huge so goddamn cat cool balls. Coolest cat ever. Giant. Oh, yeah. Fuzzy. Oh, he was a fucker too, man. Like, he, he, was, out, he was out there fucking everything. Ugh. Did he ever eat your lasagna? Sorry, John. He did not. That's a weird fucking meme, right? The whole Garfield. I'm sorry, John. Shit. Weird. Hello, like, I get it. I like it. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick Brad. Nick the Rat I'm here. Back. Hey, yeah. It's okay. So it's me. I called earlier. Yeah. I. Out a little bit. Um, I went a couple different places in the past. Well, my past, your future. Holy funny f- story. I actually called you and we yeah. talked like three different times, but I mean, you'll find out. It's cool. 
I don't remember well, no, when I, mean, I got yeah, this beer over you. here. Uh, this is bougie, I, I got a beer too, but I do remember. Uh, that's a moot point. Um, but yeah, I've actually been listening to your show all through the time zones I'm jumping into. Um, and I got to say, man, it's really great. Uh, it, it's a solid show. I'd say you're probably, you're probably like the second best part of your show. <sighs> um, I've heard that before from my parents. <laughs> I mean, you know, no, no disrespect. I, I gotta say, <clears throat> Elise Nadia and her stories are awesome. And some shit happens in a couple months that's gonna blow your mind. I don't want to spoil it, but what? it's awesome. That yeah, sounds... no, I, I caught the show. I mean, I, yeah, you'll find out when you, we talk about it. It's it's great. But man, she's great. You're she, great too. She's You're supposed all, to. Everyone's into is great. She was supposed to send me stories, but she said she got stuck in a time warp or something. Well, I mean, I mean, you know. She said she sent happens. it. And then I looked and I was like, hey, it's way too late for a story from Illuminati. And then she was like, no, I didn't send it. And I was like, but you you sent it. And then I played it, but then nobody heard it. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. So she sent it and then it got sucked into a time warp. And then she said, uh, it didn't happen. No, that happens to me all the time. It's not a big deal. It'll show up. Or we'll die. I don't know. One of the two. Have you ever rubbed your crystals today? Uh, I actually don't have crystals. I wanted to bring that up. This whole time crystal thing, uh, that's some bullshit. Uh, we use it's, time fruit. No. <sighs> crystals could crush fruit. If you ever got in a fight and you have a crystal and somebody else has a fruit, you are you have the upper oh. hand. Oh, that's 100%. I do not recommend fighting with time fruit. Uh, no. You, know, you, can, you can use crystals or rocks or, I mean... And any damn thing, really. Don't fight with fruit. That's just a bad, bad tactical decision, really. You know what? We can't. Time fruit? No. To even mention that to the Nick the Rat audience is that was bad advice. I don't give bad advice on Nick the Rat Radio. We only give good advice on Nick the Rat Radio. Uh, we have, uh, more stuff. What? The song! Dust in the wind, dude. Dust. Wind. 
dude. You're a badass motherfucker. My theory postulates that space and time are so tightly linked in general relativity that if you create more space, you're creating more time. If the expansion of the universe, starting with the Big Bang and now coasting ahead, is constantly creating more space, it must also be creating new time. And the newly created space is the space between the galaxies, and the newly created time is what we call now. Now, new time has just been created. If this theory is right, then we need a possible real test where we are creating new space. Just as I was finishing the book, along came LIGO. What they saw were two black holes, 30 times the mass of the sun, coming together in a collapsing event and making one huge big black hole. This creates gravity waves, so we see the gravity waves coming. When this happens, you are locally creating millions of square miles of new space. I said, if you're creating new space, you're creating new time. And I calculated how much it was. It turns out to be about a thousandth of a second. We should see this pulse. And then as they come together, it becomes what they call a chirp. And then it's gone because now it's just one object. It's not emitting gravity waves anymore. But if we look at the timing and then the chirp, the chirp should be delayed by about a thousandth of a second because new time is being created when these two black holes get together. I think within the next few years, we're going to get such an event. When there's one that's closer, the signal will be stronger. When the signal is stronger, you'll be able to measure it to a tenth of a millisecond, and then we should see that added delay. And if we don't see it, the theory is wrong. And if we do see it, that's in support of the theory. Is it new with our sewer news network news and the news for you all, all of yous out there yeah this is it new for all of yous yeah we have a news story here uh see these these news titles really are getting out of control because you, you take the wrong thing completely from them okay so let me just show you my thought process how this worked out i was i was going through the internet looking through all my stuff and uh i see the title woman who mistook wasabi for avocado was hospitalized with broken heart syndrome says the report now i'm thinking wow this is, i i've sometimes you know grabbed the wrong thing like i wanted chocolate milk but i grabbed fucking regular milk and then i was like whoa Whoa, I never really felt like my heart broke from it. So I thought this was just like a millennial bullshit thing or something, and, and then I got really disinterested in it. But then I started to read the story. This lady was in her 60s, and she was attending a wedding, and she thought the wasabi was avocado dip, so she took more than she could chew. But then the woman felt a sudden pressure in her chest, and she was moved to the ER. She woke up uncomfortable and weak and decided to see a doctor. I misread that last part, but I'm too lazy to edit it out. So this is how things happen sometimes in the sewer. She took an ECG, which revealed the woman was suffering from Takabasubo cardiomyopathy, correctly known as broken heart syndrome. So apparently it's a real, it's a real thing. So it's, it's not just a, uh word play it's actually what happened to her she actually got broken heart syndrome from wasabi could happen to anybody apparently uh how did she not know she was putting a large amount of wasabi in her mouth what is she fucking drunk or fucking i don't know either way a crazy story also in other food related news coca-cola has apple flavored soda Oh my god everybody we have to go out and find this stuff i heard it's really hard to get and i heard it's really applelicious Coca-Cola Apple. I can't wait to get my hands on that. Oh, boy. Okay, I'll be back a little bit later with more news on the Nick News, News Rat News, Nick the Rat Radio. This has been Zindu. Ha-ha. <laughs>
What? Ever get that feeling of deja vu? I'm having uh, a time glitch of whatever you just said right there now. What? Uh, well, let's... Okay, we gotta wrap this show up so I can figure out what the hell's going on. I think I have enough information from all the time-traveling phone callers that could help me piece together what I have to piece together to get where I have to be. But uh, first, we should probably... Uh, probably talk about Space Force. No, that's not to be talked about. That's a future subject. Uh, whoa. Okay, we have another gas blast that just came in. Nick did... Oh, I can't even read this. But I will. It must be red. Nick, did you just... Did you kill my dog? No, I would never kill a, a dog. I was walking with my dog on Monday. A puppy. I just bought for a lot of a lot of money. A dash hound named Memes. You named your dog Memes? Pretty cool. Uh, while I was walking him, I noticed the leash dragging and got heavy. Memes wasn't keeping up with me, so I started to tug a little bit. Memes felt like he caught up, but then I heard the collar dragging on the floor. I was late to work, so I just started to I just started to keep tugging on memes. When I turned around to see what was going on, little memes was dead. I brought him to the vet and the doctor said memes died of old age. What the fuck did you do to the stream of time? Blech. Well, let me tell you exactly what I did to the stream of time. See, look, when you're a, a, a cartoon rat and you're in a Area 51 facility and you see a stupid red suit with a time crystal in it and, you, and then you jump, get, then what are you going to you gonna... Hello, Earthlings. This is Zindu reporting to you for the Dark Sewer News Network with our final blast of stories. There's going to be a whole bunch of quick stories that I'm just going to go through really quick over here. Uh, NASA is saying that uh, the 1969 <laughs> moon landing lab was going to be de it's going to be demolished next year. I wonder why they're going to tear the place down where you could probably prove that humans have never landed on the moon. <laughs> what? Only uh, they did. the only things humans have landed on was Nick the Rat's mom. <laughs> uh, it's, um, I'm going to get fired. Uh, the most hydrating liquid is not water. It's probably something that has fats in it. That's that's really great news. Uh, the Jewel CEO, he took a step down. He stepped it down. I don't know what that means. Maybe he's doing some exercises involving stairs. No, I'm just joking. He uh, actually just quit the company. He was like, this company is way too big. There's way too much money involved. I got to get out of here because you know what? This is way too big of an opportunity for me because there's, there's just so many, so many people that just want to vape out there. So he, he quit. I guess maybe we'll find out more about that later. Uh, what else has happened? Mattel came out. It's coming out with a gender-neutral doll. What? I never knew their dolls had fucking vaginas and dicks on them before. I, I've <laughs> checked. Trust me, I've checked all the time. But they've never had them. I always thought Actually. they were all gender-neutral, apparently. Maybe that's why kids are so fucked up today. All their, all their toys have, like, no dicks or pussies. I don't get it. Uh, Boston Dynamics got some new video of their quadriplegic dogs. Uh, and the U.S. Army warns that because the movie Joker is coming out, there might be incels shooting the place up. Oh, my God, run. I'll just eat their faces off. Anyway, I hope you had a great evening uh, listening to the news. My name is Zindu. I'll be back next week, and I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, tell Nick the Rat that his mom is great. <laughs> ah, I love her. Yeah. Okay, bye. What the fuck was that shit? What? We got gas blast. We're going to end the show in a little bit here. We're coming up to the end over here. Let me just... 
guest blast here. Uh, talk about lost time. We disconnected, and I'm still talking. Damn, I missed a lot. Sewer dwelling is anti-aging. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are like 50. Exclamation. Question mark. Great. I don't know. Uh, do we have anything else to talk about here? We talked about those people. We talked about these people. There is a tunnel in London. Uh, the Woolrich Foot Tunnel. The long tunnel you go inside that stuff, time freezes. And there's nothing like freezing up while you're in a tunnel. But otherwise you get called fucking names that I can't repeat on a podcast. They're, they're so bad. But it has to do about ejaculating way too quickly. So if there is a, a tunnel that you can go into that stops time, I say go. Especially if you're in London. Uh, do we have more? We have more gas blast here. Wow, we have a lot of gas blast. Let's see. Where let's read this one. Nicholas, never want to run. A, never run away from the future police. You will not survive. Sincerely, a concerned party. Thank you. All right. Uh. Voicemail, voice, uh, vo well, yeah, yeah, voicemail. Uh, it's like there's two, but I'm only seeing one. What is this? That's okay. Let's play this one. Hey, Nick, this is Nick from the future. I traveled into the past to give you a voicemail to let you know in the huh? present, which will currently be the past and like now. But I'm still from in the future of then. So I wanted to let you know that the, the show is going to be horrible tonight. But uh, but that, that's that's fine. That's fine that you suck. It's just, it's, sometimes you have to let yourself, you know, pat yourself on the back and say, what? you did okay. And then just maybe stop doing it, you know? But anyway, uh, you're going to build a time machine soon just so you go in the past to let you know that you're horrible at podcasting. So you actually do spend time building that time machine you were always going to build. And, uh, and that's how you got this voicemail. All right, uh, I'll I'll who see him that? in the future or now. I don't know when. Who sent this? Who who fucking sent that? I got. I'm gonna go call the FBI now. I gotta go for the. Uh, we'll be back next week with more Nick the Rat Radio. This fucking shit. Who was that? Was that's a bad prank. That's a deep fake, okay? That wasn't me. And whoever that was, if you keep fucking with me, I'll, I'll eat your I'll eat your family. Uh we got Glitch Nemesis with Love is Free. Uh we had a great time this week. I uh, love all of you except that last fucking caller. And uh it's going to be a great week you're going to have you're going to have a great weekend. You're going to have fun. Thursday's going to be an incredible. Friday is going to be incredible. Uh, Monday, Tuesday is going to be incredible. I think I forgot something in between there, but I don't know. But uh, good night, everybody. I, I love you. And we'll, uh, we'll pick apart possibil po possibilities of the f of Bye.
quantum quantum computing and uh, I just to summarize the, the article quantum computing is bull crap anyway I'm going to get this party started You're building a rat ship here. Nick the rat! Hey, motherfucker. You're a badass motherfucker. I just wanted to tell you that, motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. I'll see you tomorrow.